report, Ms. Diggs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, Commissioners. <clears throat> uh, the Board of Assessor's Office, as of this afternoon, has received 130 appeals on residential and agriculture. The um, commercial assessment notices will go out tomorrow. When I spoke with Lisa Bryant, normally they have several hundred appeals by now, so the appeals seem to be coming in slower this year than they did last year. Um, also, we'll be providing lunch on Monday for our employees as a mid-year appreciation for all their hard work. This is Chick-fil-A that will be dropped off at all of their offices. Our <coughs> department heads are participating in delivering those to all of the other elected officials' offices in the courts. Um, we also remain under a heat advisory. Ms. Barwood continues to release information regarding heat safety. We also are making sure that our teams in the field are staying hydrated and taking breaks when necessary. I know that's been a topic of conversation. The chairman and I talked about it on the radio this morning. I'm afraid that this heat's going to hang in for the next few months. I think that maybe towards the end of the week we're going to get a break with maybe a little rain, but right now it's just hot. Um, also, Ms. Barwick and Jess Gaines are working to have the historic courthouse added as a stop on the Georgia Grown Trails Tour. Um, Beth Meeks is a fantastic friend of the county. This is a meeting that she invited Megan and Jess to. We will provide you all with more information as we move through the process. Um, but you've been around the state and seen the Georgia Grown Trails signs that, that kind of mark the mile marker or that you put in front of the facilities. So we're excited to be included in their marketing, marketing materials and to be an official <coughs> stop on, on that trail. From October of last year to May of this year, we've already had over 3,000 visitors to the historic courthouse. So it's exciting to have it incorporated into a formal initiative across the state. Also, the Sheriff's Office has become active in a downtown in an attempt to slow traffic. As you ride through downtown on the Ashley Street side of the historic courthouse, you may see the message board there encouraging people to slow down. Um, that is a, a new message board that was acquired through the Sheriff's Office and they're trying to do their part to help slow that traffic a little bit. Um, yesterday, uh, we were doing some research and I found something that I wanted to share with you all. This is a memo that <clears throat> was dated June the 29th of 1990. And it says that on July the 3rd, 1990, Central Avenue will be closed at 1 p.m. by the City Engineering Department between Ashley Street and Patterson Street. The only lanes to be closed will be the northernmost lane and the parking lane. Lowndes County has contracted with Roundtree Construction Company to deliver 107 tons of beach sand at $6 per ton. Next, Public Works will spread the sand <coughs> in a 22 by 100 foot thick or, or 100 um, foot rectangle, one inch thick, and then on July the 5th of 1990, Public Works will clean up the sand and use it for emergency in service stock. Central Avenue will be open for full traffic on July the 5th. Um, so, so it's going to be Central Beach or what? Apparently, um, but, but two things from this. I know that sometimes you guys are very patient with our community programs and the things that we like to do. I, I promise to you that we will never um, ask to dump 100 tons of sand in the middle of a road. Um, also, Commissioner Weisenbaker, for your benefit, I made sure that I looked at what time and inflation has done to a ton of sand. Um, so, in 1990, we paid $6 per ton for sand. Today, we are paying $112 per ton for sand. Yeah. Yep. So, anyway, I just saw that and I thought there, you know, we, I don't know, I don't remember anything being advertised downtown as far as a whole load, load of sand for the 4th of July, um, but apparently there was, um, and with that, I hope that you all have a fantastic 4th. Thank you. 